in another set of cars. Do we see THG coming down from a mountain or Brunda King climbing up from the bottom of a rock? We will find out here in this game as it looks like action is almost imminent. JDX and a couple more players hanging out. They're going to be landing their way into Ranchito, but we're going to jump on board with Frossel, who is struggle busting it. But finds the AR, finds a helmet, doing a lot better real quick. Immediately outside, he can hear the players driving around looking for the Elim. Not going to be able to get it. Throws a couple shots there pretty wide on those shots. Sometimes you just you don't get it lined up the way you want. You see someone, you panic, you fire a few shots in. You need to keep those nerves calm. Be very, very careful with your, your placement. And this is smart play coming in from Maiko, and we were talking about that, where realistically, it could be the players that have changed. Maiko did not give away his position. He did not say anything about where he was, and he was able to just carry on his wayward son. There'll be peace when he is done. He could lay his weary head to rest, and he won't cry anymore. Boom, 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 boom. You done? Yeah, I'm done. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, I'm glad you got that out. Hey, Pat Jack Dylan. Dylan down early, goes down in 88th, not where he wanted to be. Sicko is a bush. Hopping around. And Bull Definitely goes down right not. after. Did Definitely. you catch that? Oh, did Bull go down early too? Yeah, Bull and Tack Dylan. Those are uh, NA players. Whoa, this is craziness to start. There is quite a few elims here very early, so Vamp Wu going to catch themselves an elim, and it looks like we've got two players right on top of each other. Or no, that's going to be bait. I think he's actually looting his... Yeah, he's looting the looting, kill. Looting his prey. <laughs> I, I, I'm glad we don't do that in real life. Skinning his elim. That's disgusting. I mean, that kind of looks like what he's doing. Like he was shredding. I don't know. Be, he's like set up to Bushwiggy. Look at this outfit. The I think the shiny... Oh, actually, it's not. I thought he was rocking the... Uh, the green illuminated shotgun, but he's actually rocking the green dawn, so he yep. could lay down and be all right with that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, Nelson's here at military base, and we just saw Outboxy's there, and there is another player on the other side of it. I don't think it's going to register at this distance, but Nelson's very close to Outboxy, and this could be that moment where Outboxy becomes a turret as Lucas Hacks will get picked off by ZR, Z1BR Stolmai. Stole Vampsy shotgun. I'm just calling him Stole My. It's going to call him Shotgun. Shotgun. It actually doesn't have the end. I think it's just Shotgoo. 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 That's his name. Shotgoo? Yep. Shotgoo's the new name. Outboxy. Still just hanging out. He's really not trying to make a move out of there at all. And this zone is going to be completely different from the zone we saw previously. Yes, it is. Most likely going to finish over over Mosquito River somewhere towards the center of this circle. It'll shift a little north, a little south, a little east, somewhere in there. Um, most likely pulling away from PV, though. It's very interesting, though. All of PV field. in, um, and there's a lot of players in PV. A lot of players in Ranchito. They don't have to move too much, but Loki putting shots down onto Lykill. Cannot land what he was looking for. It's a big back window. Aim for it. Ends up getting a lot of hits, but can't get the final bullet that would have been the one to do him in. That player is going to be able to get away. P. Show going to get taken down by Thomas Turbano. Frostel also going to go down here to a shotgun at the hands of THG, who I believe was our third place player correct. from the last round. That is correct. Well, I mean, realistically, it's not crazy right now, but we have lost a huge chunk of players, seven kills, and the gas has just started spreading. And I, th I think that is a... Uh, Eight kills, and the ooh. gas has just started spreading. Shiko, who is our winner, number one overall last week, mm -hmm. did not have um, the round number one that, that, he, was they, looking that he was for. looking he to have. He went out in 39th. Yeah, 39th. So needs a big game number two. We'll see if they're able to pull that off. Like he'll take a few shots. Going to lose the helmet to Floki. Oh. Able to get back into cover and get a new helmet on with a quickness. Floki also going to get a new helmet on. And like he'll going to try and possibly keep the aggression up. But it looks like he's giving enough time to Floki to just heal all the way up. Well, Dome is very comfortably taking a nap. Oh, that's not Dome. That's Lord Alvin who is taking a nap. <laughs> He looked very relaxed there. Like, I mean, it must have been hot. That's why he didn't have any clothes on. But one blades will actually get taken out by Lilio as well. 
So we are down to 77. We're almost at the uh, actual point. And look, Indosaur has found himself a camper, but Maiko is un knock, knock, knocking on Indosaur's door. But it's it's unoccupied. Indosaur has one all to himself. Well, it doesn't He's not seem used to, to it. I don't know if he knows what to do with it. Every time he tried to get into one last game, somebody else said occupied. Occupado. South America, we got to use the... Uh... Uh, I don't think Spanish is really this region's... We had that language. discussion off camera, I think. I'm pretty, I'm pretty yeah. sure they speak Portuguese. Portuguese. Close so. enough. Is that how it works? Kind of. I mean, there's English and British English. Okay. It's very all different. Right. It's close enough. <laughs> no disrespect to anybody. Yeah, None at I all. Don't, I don't, that yeah. is not what that means. <sighs> all that right. could be taken any way you want. Okay. I will take it in the way which pleases me the most. Uh, Maiko, 77, still hanging out here, wanting this fight with Indosaur. Just can't seem to make it happen. Indosaur kind of wants to do it, kind of doesn't. Going back and forth on his decisions. Well, Twister. not going back and forth is Twister, as he was trying to run into the back end of Bill, but unfortunately hit a tree Ooh. instead. And THG, third place, putting some shots on to Balanakara. Well, that Molotov will burn the roof, but not the face of Balana. THG gonna hang out and run back down this uh this back alley. Nothing really pressuring him, so he's gonna be able to get out of there. Doesn't look like he wanted to stay that much longer and really have that engagement. If he could have got the quick kill, would have been worth, but not worth it to just stay there and right. keep drawing attention to yourself. You're the one out in the open, the other player has a full building to hide in. Ooh, Ugo loses a helmet as Spancy lands the drive-by, but in reverse has two ATVs and two doors. That is what the, <laughs> that's what you need, like, in yeah. case you are one of those people that doesn't want to lock the bathroom stall door. If you have a double door, you could really confuse somebody. That is really true. But if it's one of those really tight stalls, it could also be really bad, because you might just get blasted and smacked in the, smacked knee. In the yeah. knee. Oh, that, that would be the worst. That would suck. <laughs> that would be really bad. Well, speaking of sucking, Brunda King here fighting with Vamp. Ooh, I don't know why that's speaking of sucking. <laughs> he was fourth in the Br last Brunda game. Brunda King get. Uh, uh, I'm I'm over. I'm that's over not, it. Oh. And that's gonna be it for Brun. I don't think he's gonna be able to get out of here. Oh, yeah, I don't think he, he has is. a heal. One heal off. Vamp just trying to find the finish on him. He can basically just drive the circles around him for a while. This car's getting beat up pretty bad. B-Bill going to get taken out by Lykill. Damn, Azera in a Brun fight here with Vamp. Floki. Brun picks up Vamp. What happened? Well, it looks like a shotgun Ooh. to the head, and so Floki will find one as well. But Brun was able to survive That's that. That's a big, big elim for him. Yes, it is. And the question is, now he has Well, is the quick, can he get out of the gas? Is the car in good enough but condition? But is the car in good enough condition to get out? Look how far he is. Uh, if... This is an early gas circle. I think he could still outrun it as long as he's got some healing, but he has to start moving now. He is, he is healing up. I can see the number on his health bar going upwards, but if he doesn't have a vehicle, this is when that gas Ooh. starts pushing up. And, well, speaking of pushing up, Boucher got to get the kill on the Kravius, and Twister goes down from that Magnum from Shaku. Shaku, Shaku with the Magnum. <laughs> he's going to get that Elim. Well, it looks like he's also got himself a two-hit. So he has gotten himself one of the... Uh, Do you remember when wearing that was the greatest thing in the world? Wearing the yellow raincoat? I don't know that I thought it was... That I ever thought it was the greatest Didn't thing in the world. Didn't it used to hide armor? Yes. Yes, it did. It used to completely cover armor, so you couldn't tell when you're going into a fight if it... If you had, had or armor not. or not. But uh, luckily we don't have that situation anymore. Oh, how far we've come. A lot of guys just set up and ready to not move, and it looks like Zalpas is probably right inside the building of 47. Fun fact. Or he's sitting right behind the pillar there. The Osmo was first out last game. Fun fact. He's not first out this game. <laughs> Volta was also out very early on in our last game. He was the second kill, and he has a Sombracon right near him, but you can hear those footsteps. You hear them quiet. Just over yonder is another player. Thomas Turbano, though, he's going to get taken down by 2MG. I think we could cast this more like a golf game. Volto coming up on the 17th hole. 
to push off to the side. It's Looks like the cart is down. He's going to have to make a run over to it. Out comes the putt. Going to come up just short. Oh. And a Sombra Cow going to come outside. And he's going to take a couple shots to the head and get eliminated <laughs> from the patch. Welcome to Rip H1Z1. I think, is that considered a hole in one or is that like on par? It's like a, it's under par, right? Like he's on a it's par like a, three. Like a and he, it's a birdie. Yeah, that's right, a that's, that's a, a birdie. birdie. It's a two tap. Two oh, tap, that's it. Birdie. A two tap's a birdie. There we go. That makes sense. So how do you get a, Oh yeah, that's a good point. You catch somebody without a helmet from the get go, and you just one tap at the start of a match. That's an eagle. An eagle. So what's a hole in one? That eagle. An eagle is not a hole in one. Yeah, it is. I thought an eagle. Like let's say it was a par four, and you got two. That's an eagle. I'm talking about par threes, man. We can't start basing it off of all these other maps, otherwise the well, system's then, not then gonna it's work. A, you can't. Then it's not an eagle. It's We're back oh on board God. with Zelbus. <laughs> I'm right. He's wrong. That We're is taking not off true. On the I'm ATV. right. Zelbus gonna come rolling through out of the uh, out of the death cabins there. Misty loop, booty clapital, and the 92 other names it is. Oh, he wants it. Quick hop, Zelbus not he afraid to take the fight. Gets a single hit into Battle Royale. Gets a couple more, and Battle Royale gonna take off as he makes a run for it. He's trying to stay alive a little oh, one. Never mind, he wants it. Well, Zappa's tried to run, put shots down. He just wants to fight. But he's in, got Battle Royale at half health right now. And that grenade, if it's far enough, could do nope, the job. Uphill. But it's nowhere near it far Can't enough. Can't make it that far uphill. Well, he is putting himself out of cover. Battle Royale could turn and fight Zappa's here. He would have been better off to just keep banging away shots onto the car and just blew the car up. That is very true. But instead, Battle Royale will be able to get out of there, and Zopas will move on as well. e -Girl's very close, putting shots down into Zopas. None connect. And that will be the end of that story, as Zopas is going to move on and deeper into the forest. And we'll take a look at Britskin, who is actually right behind, and now very close to e -Girl. Looking for this fight. Ritzkin going to hop out, confused on where he is, doesn't know where the shots are coming from. e -Girl trying to find a shot. Can't hit any of them, though. It does sound like they're trying to destroy whatever vehicle E-Girl may have up here. I think they were actually hitting the uh, the camper there next to him. Think so? Yeah, Zopa's going to start getting beamed by Floki. Going to hop off as he crashes, throws a nade. Did he think he had a smoke out? It'd be really funny if he threw it at his foot. Oh, look at this full move! send! Hello, Floki's here. Good night, Zopas. You are eliminated from the match. That was a full send. That's what I was talking about. That's what South America brings to the party. <laughs> Floki thinking he may be on off. Professional ATV rider flying through the air and coming down on top of that player, taking him out as Floki now is going to try to get out of here. His Indosaur has not moved from that camper. He likes the spot he's in. The rate is good per day, and they don't mind about his loud parties at night. Alrighty, he's taking off, just revving that engine, trying to get out of Dodge. He got his one E-Limb, and he is happy to go. Correction, he has two E-Limbs. We only saw the one. I don't know. We'll see shortly when the map comes up how we're doing. Nice timing on that. Two for Shotgu, two for Floki. Those are going to be our kill leaders right now. So we do see a lot of players inside the gas. And look at that bottom right corner there. Evil Zoom's got some distance yeah. to travel. He's got to walk. Evil Zoom. That, that southeast corner is about to be an absolute massacre. Look at the south side right now. Oh, Just straight it moved. south. It moved. Everybody came oh. in on the south. And, well, oh. everybody's about to go this, down on oh, the south. The south side's about to be. Oh, oh, my God. What is happening? Smirk and take it down by no showdown for me. Or uh, gets taken out by e -Girl when he comes in on the full send. e -Girl shutting it down. That is a move right there. And here is Brenda King for the last move, time. Apparently. No, it's not a good move as you die in the Jeep. But it was a move in itself. And you know what? It's all about style. And Floki picks up third e -limb of the match. That's one of our other players coming in, wilding and styling on the jumps. Only winning those jumps was Floki. He's going to get his third E-Limb of the match. I steal fan. Going to get taken out by Echo. He's T fan. Nunzer is going to trade his burning Jeep for a toxic ATV. He'll make his way in. Floki does go down. He will not be able to add on to that as Christopher will as well. And that is Brun the King looking for a repeat, doing so well here, but needs to get through this next bubble burst that will happen at any moment now. Because these players need to get the save. And look at Daidu coming up on the back, too. 
Twitch Outbox. He gets taken out by Z1 Battle Royale. That's the story of the day. Z1 no. Battle Royale eliminating people. He, apparently. Well, speaking of eliminations, here's Mulox, who has gotten none so far. I think that's my thing of the cast, speaking of. There you go. That's the one. That's the one Gillyweed actually put something out the other day, just saying, you know, what's what's other casters and hosts, what's your go-to? I, I have a different one every cast, and that's what it is today. Oh, absolutely is absolutely yeah. my word. Absolutely, when people absolutely it is. dominate each other. We got some shots coming out from 2MG as he gets absolutely demolished and deletified from the match by Z1 Battle Royale. Absolutely, Jason, and we see that bubble bursting right now as Brunda King goes out. That would have been 49, 48, 50th, Ooh. and there are a lot more names on that board that oof. are scrolling up. And oof is all you can say. Oof. Couple shots coming out. Mulok's gonna get punished from the other side. Though it's gonna be the hands of Titanico. A massive Amasado Lixo trying to get out of there. Couple shots coming in, knocking the connect onto him. Hits the car a few times. He'll be all right though. Ah, Grizzly and Bait both gonna get eliminated. We are down to 43 players. That south side starting to thin out a little bit after Ooh. everybody rotated in. That was car close. on fire. Well, and Ambassador is able to get out of there, but it is Evan B who destroys his vehicle. PC goes down in 43rd. He was in second, so tough break for him. But now Ambassador right there with Evan in front of him on that rock. Daidu driving around on the side. I don't think they realize they're there. And actually, it looks like he may be getting shots on the back. And well, Sicko as a bush is also Sicko is dead again. And Posaki also going to get eliminated there. So I think that's I think both of those players have gold ARs. I believe so. I believe I think so. They both do. Both going down here fairly early. That's good. You don't need another. Oh. I didn't know that's how that worked. Show the well. Okay. Yeah. Kosu going to take some shots down onto him. Indosaur. Adnax gets eliminated by Amasado. But he's still getting beamed at from multiple er areas as we see Trill Hill and Nunzera go down as well. So we're about to break into our top 30, and this area is nuts, and you hear nothing but shotguns. Mitch is gaming, going to go down in 34th. Oh. Merrick going to get eliminated by Titanico. Eo Bronx going to get taken out by Shotgu. Well, more kills are happening here as this zone is just going to be a mess of people here in just a second. Everybody moving in on that west side as Gloria Adu gets taken out by Xavier Khan, and we are in our top 30. We're actually in the top 28, sir. As two people got eliminated there. Just, I just. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a name we saw pretty far deep into the last one. Shaman. Sh Shaman. Shaman. Made it pretty far into the last one, but Inosaur like goes Shaman down. Better. Dome goes down. THG just went down in 26. He was in third. These are Inosaur. not the placements you want. Indosaur also takes an Elim there, so he goes down finally after he found his camper to hang out in for a bit. Batata Leon, our winner from match number one, still here in the game in 24th at a minimum right now as Kosu XD gets eliminated by Blue Wave. Definitely want to follow him. He's very consistent thus far. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, we'll see how consistent he is. He's going to pick up some loot from these bodies here. But our, and our game one winner, Batata, pushing up onto Austin Rare. Has players behind him as well. He's probably pretty good right now in the zone. Just needs to pay attention to these players behind him and around him and hold on to this area for him to get a higher placement. Him going out now would be awful. All right, SNK getting taken out by Shotgu. Nine, nine on the bomb driving through. Oh, she, she goes. goes. She goes. Winner from last week goes down in 23rd, 9-9, nine, nine, trying to press up, looking for someone to throw a couple rounds at. Hasn't found anything yet. We can hear some shots going down right up over the top of the hill there. In comes Vancey, hey! shotgun shell. Blue Wave gonna be the one to get the finish, but Tata Leon gonna give him a little bit of an assist there at 47% with that shotgun. All the armor off for him, Ooh. made it easy, but that flash, doesn't matter as 47's head is now just matter. 47's head is all over the side of that tree at the moment is where it's at. That's nasty. That's not good. That's not where it's supposed to be. Didi's out. Going to get taken down in 17. Amasado now looking for a little bit of safe space. Going to just throw oh, nades in the ground. Somebody that player isn't Norris. there. Gets off the smoke. Nate going to be able to lay there. Get a little bit of healing off. 
The person that he was trying to keep away with that smoke nade is actually already dead, though. Well, but Tata has the gas at his back. Smart move there as JDX is going to push up over towards Xavier Khan. Oh, he's is this a full send moment? No, it doesn't look like it. looks like he's trying to play this one very carefully. He's looking for other players. He decides he wants to get to the middle of the zone and find his own tree. Need to find a bush with that tree. Well, we're going to see what happens here. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Oh, it's okay. I didn't oh, know. it's a little late, guys. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. My bad. <laughs> I thought I thought you just burped and I looked at you. Oh, that oh was no. A sneeze that noise was coming. One of those, that was one of those blowing out my esophageal health again. <laughs> Uh, but when Sacrifice. you feel the sneeze coming on, like it's hard to talk and be like, help me guys, help me. It's just like, it's <laughs> sorry, just sorry. It I got a hand off when he sneezes. That's professional Ti casting. Titanico going to get eliminated. He's going to go down to a headshot from Storm is worse. Patata Leon still hanging out here. Did he just set up a bio bomb? It looked like a bio bomb. Oh, I didn't catch but it. But he's leaving it behind. If it was, Shaman getting tagged up left and right. Masado looking for some shots on a couple players. Not really doing a ton here. But the cool story of this is, is Batata is here in this position where this will solidify Ooh. him in first probably for another round. Batata being this high up, he doesn't want to go down in 11th. He wants to break 10 again because that little point jump you get for on that top 10. Well, B-Girl trying to get Xavier out. Going to blow up that Jeep. It's so close. Xavier's able to get out and toss it. He did take a shot, but now Spencey and Xavier Khan, they're right on top of each other. Lilio, who was in 10th, went down in 11th, so pretty consistent on the placement, mm -hmm. but probably bump up a little bit in that overall top 10. Blue Wave going to go down. Flash FPS also going to go down both at the hands of the gas. A little bit of assist from some players there on him. 9-9-X right up behind Austin's Rare. Doesn't know that he's there, though. Egrill with some spray shots. Going to get a couple hits, and Austin Rare is trying to get out of dodge. Ooh. Not able to do it fast enough, though. Egrill going to squeeze shot. one in there. Yeah, well, she's also going to get a bullet squeezed in between her eyebrows because Spency finds the headshot. Now 9-9's there. Shaman goes down, and that's Batata picking that up, and now Batata is in such a good spot to almost guarantee himself a win tonight. Can he do back-to-back -back wins? I don't think we've seen it yet. We we've, have not. We have seen a first and second. We have not seen a first. First, can he do it? Well, the pressure's it's on as he picks up another elimination, making four. No pressure? He doesn't know what that means. Uh, apparently not. He is like a can of flat soda. What? No pressure. No pressure. Can of flat soda. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Xavier I'm done. This game's over. I'm Batata, going home. I mean, 9-9's in here, and so is Spency. And Batata now has an ATV. He's going to use that to move into a better area. Keep that movement speed up. Maybe spot out where these other players are. He does need to be careful. It looks like he may be going for 9-9. We hear bullets firing left and right. And it is 9-9 and Batata, but they're right on the Ooh. edge of the gas. Batata picks it up, but he needs to move. He's on fire. Spencey's there, he goes down in third. Matata not able to pull off the back-to-back -back win, but takes down first and a third, and now Spencey's gonna get eliminated. Xavier Khan gonna take down game number two and set himself up to battle, possibly, for that number one overall spot. And Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, get, we get it, guys. You can move the camera, and then you can zoom at the same time. Oh, <laughs> uh, he Ooh. left right when you were trying to do it. Mm -hmm. I like that. Don't take that away mm -hmm. from him. That's, like, actually difficult to do as a spectator. I'm a... H1Z1 Pro League Observer, trained by the greatest 